With so many characters on the small screen, there's more than enough drama to go around. Daddy, I don't think this is a proper time to discuss it. I don't know why not. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 ensemble live action TV drama casts. I'd rather make out Principal Farber, you know? Oof, again? <laughs> Shut up, man. For this list, we're taking a look at live action small screen dramas with the best casts and characters. And when this song drops, the majority of people on the dance floor is gonna be women. Exactly, anybody with common sense can see that the lyrics are just metaphors. We're solely focusing on shows with storylines that are distributed evenly between multiple characters. We've thus excluded The Sopranos because, as great as the supporting players are, almost every episode is Tony centric. The wrong person finds out about this and I get a steel jacket and antidepressant right in the back of the head. We've also left off animated shows because we already have a list for cartoon casts. Number 10, Orange is the New Black. When Orange is the New Black started out, it was essentially the story of Piper Chapman. Oh my God, Larry, by the time I get out, they'll have been like three new generations of iPhones. As the seasons have gone on, however, Piper has become just a small fraction of what's truly an ensemble piece. You'd be 10 years dead now. You'd be just another anonymous black child, buried six deep in a county field. From Uzo Aduba's Suzanne, to Kate Mulgrew's Red, to Laverne Cox's Sophia, there are too many breakout characters on this Netflix original series to count. I am not crazy. I am unique. It's further encouraging to see a hit series with a cast primarily consisting of women that come from various ethnic, religious, sexual, and even gender backgrounds. <laughs> Number nine, Skins. Now that I've lost everything to you, you say you want to start something new. And it's breaking my heart, so you're leaving. Baby, I'm grieving. This UK drama is one of the best shows you'll ever see about teenagers coming of age. Part of that is because Skins isn't afraid to touch base on controversial subjects teenagers face every day. I ain't scared of lightning. What really makes the series so special, however, is its complex, diverse, and identifiable characters. <laughs> Even more unique, Skins never exhausts any of its characters, as every couple of seasons focus on a new batch of teens. Cheers. You f***ers. <laughs> <laughs> this demonstrates that change may come with each passing generation, but certain issues will always remain the same. Oh, we could have sex. Who stole that oyster? Let's just... Let's just start this life, shall we, Anwar? Number eight, six feet under. I refuse to sanitize this anymore. This is how it's done. Yeah, well, it's whacked. Six Feet Under is about many things, such as living life to the fullest and coping with the inevitability of death. You are all such incredibly stupid losers. Whoa. Chill. The people are f***ing disgusting. At the center of all these themes, though, is an overarching moral enforcing the importance of family. The Fisher family and their closest loved ones don't always get along. When tragedy strikes, however, this dysfunctional clan unites to console each other and overcome grief. Many of us can see our own families in Nate, Ruth, David, and Claire. God, I would give anything if I could make things different for you. They may drive each other crazy, but they're the strongest when together. Yes, he and I are having a sexual relationship now. I'm not sure if it's something that's going to last, but, well, there it is. We're all adults, we're all sexual beings, we should acknowledge that. Number seven, Misfits. So she's psychic and you can turn invisible. <laughs> that seems likely. Misfits is yet another drama that doesn't focus on one group of individuals throughout its entire run. There are virtually no characters that appear in every season. Don't you have any shame? <laughs> Don't you have any dress sense? Seriously, you look like a mum. For each person that exits, however, we're introduced to a new intriguing character with a cool new supernatural ability. Who was that just now? I think it's a shapeshifter. They can take on other people's appearance. I saw it in an episode of Star Trek. While the original generation of Misfits is still considered the best among fans, this British series always keeps things fresh with different people and dynamics. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
You stay a little lady. This is absolutely no place. This is man's work. It's dangerous. Considering how many TV characters wear out their welcome after a while, other shows could learn from misfits. So if you're not dead, how can you smell so bad? I appear to have shat myself. Oh. Number six, Lost. This game-changing series found just the right balance in juggling a massive ensemble comprised of over a dozen main characters. Hey, hey, easy, oh, God. one fight at a time. He's right, this is between them. Each person stranded on the enigmatic island is a mystery, making it fascinating to learn where he or she came from and where he or she will ultimately end up. <laughs> I guess so. With each revelation, we find that these incredibly different strangers have more in common than initially expected. Even if everyone wasn't satisfied with how Lost wrapped things up, we're all glad that we got to know Jack, Kate, Sawyer, Hurley, and the rest. You never heard of Drive Shaft? The band. Yeah, the band. You were in Drive Shaft. I am in Drive Shaft. I play bass. Serious? Yeah. Charlie. Number five. Battlestar Galactica. I tell you one thing though, I had some pretty frack and amazing ideas. Restaurants shaped like food. When people think of sci-fi shows, certain stereotypical archetypes usually come to mind. Battlestar Galactica struck a chord with a wide range of audiences though, because of its surprisingly multi-layered, relatable, and human characters. Talk, take your freaking hands off me. Gods. Nobody even knows what you are anymore. Son of a bitch. Despite their setting, real-world parallels can undeniably be found in politicians like President Laura Roslin and military leaders like Admiral William Adama. Just looking for a quiet little place for that cabin. Maybe a garden. I don't have much of a green thumb, so I hope that you do. The best science fiction shows are the ones that have something to say about the human condition. Battlestar Galactica marvelously accomplished this with people that felt all too real. Wait a minute, no, where is he? Where's my father? Kelly took him. What? You were with him. What happened? No, I'm fracking, no! Number four, Downton Abbey. Lady Mary Crawley. Will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? Yes. Downton Abbey practically has two casts for the price of one. Half of the show centers on the aristocratic Crawley family. I have to apologize for our behavior. While the other half shines the spotlight on their servants. All right, shove over. You've changed your tune. Bye bye. Oh, perhaps I have. Despite their opposite classes, however, all of these people have one thing in common. They're all learning to deal with changing times brought on by war, tragedy, and the challenging of social norms. She's 24 years old. This cannot be. The audience observes these changes not only from the perspectives of contrasting classes, but contrasting genders as well, amounting to a series that speaks to everyone. Well, I'm going to write to Murray. He won't say anything different. Well, we have to start somewhere. Number three, Mad Men. Every time we fight, it just diminishes us a little bit. Like Downton Abbey, Mad Men is also largely about a changing world. Tell them what to do. I made a list and I called some movers. Can you read these? Do you know where this stuff is? Yes. Of course, you'll need the job bags and all these accounts. It's a world where women can be prominent in the workplace, men can be emotionally vulnerable, and the idea of a traditional family feels harder to attain. We see this changing world through the eyes of strong women like Peggy Olsen, lost men like Don Draper, and every character's complicated home life. You got everything you ever wanted. Everything! And you loved it! And now I'm not good enough for some spoiled mainline brat! That's right! Although many think of the 1960s as a more innocent time, all of these people exemplify how the supposed good old days were always a false advertisement. No, it was something about a kid locked in a closet because his mother was making him wait for the floor to dry, which is basically the whole commercial. It's a kernel. Number two, The Wire. It being your town, I trust you to do it proper. While many crime dramas have big casts, most of them only observe law enforcement from one point of view. Over five seasons, though, The Wire explores the drug scene from the perspectives of criminals, blue-collar workers, government, 
schools, and media in addition to the police. Addressing the issue from every conceivable angle, we see that law enforcement isn't as cut and dry as police procedurals typically make it out to be. No, I'm just saying the first community activist who pitches a bitch about the corner activity in a neighborhood, aren't we going to go right back to rounding up bodies? Yeah, well, we need to educate our citizens to the new approach. We can find ourselves sympathizing with drug dealers and questioning the extremes detectives will go to in seeking justice. You do not play the game for yourself, you play it for us. If you remember these few rules, you'll find me to be supportive and reasonable. Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. What are you doing, Pete? It's my turn to be somebody now, Nathan! Come on, Peter, quit screwing around! You get to do what no interns get to do, scrub in to assist on an advanced procedure. Dr. Bailey is going to hand you Katie's chart. The clock is ticking fast, people. None of this was in the first trial. Is it your intention to pursue a new defense? Yes, Your Honor. And what do I get for my pain and suffering? Followed around by a video camera. There, the, the, the point is, Mary, I She meant Jewish. Number one, Game of Thrones. I have come to make my apologies, my lord, and to beg your forgiveness. Don't beg my forgiveness, Your Grace. The world of Game of Thrones is so vast that a movie franchise could never cover all the characters. I don't serve your brother, Your Grace. But you love him. This made HBO the perfect venue to bring George R. R. Martin's novels to life, introducing mainstream audiences to unforgettable people like Tyrion, Daenerys, and Arya. While we look forward to every new episode, we also dread each passing episode. The Lannisters send their regards. <laughs> This is because any of the characters we've come to love could die at any moment. Since there are numerous characters we love to hate, though, maybe that's not so bad. Oh, careful, Your Grace. <laughs> Nothing cuts like Valyrian steel. So they say. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite TV drama cast? You see something, Reed? Not yet. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.